हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड हेल्दी सो टुडे अगेन वी आर हियर फॉर लर्निंग साइंस व्हाट वी लर्न इन साइंस वी लर्न इन साइंस अबाउट एनिमल्स अबाउट फूड अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स लिविंग थिंग्स नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स राइट सो टुडे वी लर्न अबाउट लेसन नंबर सेवन राइट so let's start our today's lecture as you know i am your science teacher mubassira miss from mahadev school and today we continue lesson number 7 knowing your body right our unit number 4 and lesson number 7 knowing your body and today we continue our exercise of previous topic right textbook exercise so in previous lecture we complete our hard words and fill in the blanks so today we continue this exercise so let's start our today's lecture with one beautiful line that dream big aim high it means you have to believe in your dream but your dream will be big right so when your aim is high your dream is big and you can achieve it with belief in your self you can see here rocket and rocket is flying above the sky so you can understand that you have to believe in yourself and your aim is high right so with this lines let's start our today's topic so now which lesson we are learning lesson number 7 right and what is the name of this lesson knowing your body it means we are learning about our body that which body part we have and how they are important in our body and how they are help in our body right so like two person are jumping there one is pumpkin and one is human right so like that let's go to learn before we start our today's topic what we do we revise our lesson number 7 so in this lesson first we learn about our different body parts which are the hands legs eyes ears tongue stomach and hair this all are our body parts when this all parts join together they make one structure which we called body right so this all are our body parts we also have many other body parts but mostly we learn in this lesson about this body parts then we joint our body parts right ears eyes hair tongue mouth stomach hand and leg so when this all body parts join together our body can work and each and every body part is important right so we learn in this lesson about sense organs which are the nose eyes ears tongue and skin these all are sense organs sense organs are body part that help us to feel the world around us now let's see how they are helping us first is tongue tang help us to taste different type of things like chili is spicy when ice cream is sweet and pizza is very tasty right so tang help us to feel the world around us then skin that skin help us to feel and touch the teddy bear is very soft eyes is very cold when caesar is very sharp and feather is very light right so this all things we can feel 
with help of our skin then we learn about ears that ear help us to listen things like mic alarm clock violin different types of instrument different types of voice we can recognize our mother voice our father voice how with help of our ears so like that ears help us from so far which vehicle is coming like train is coming when plane is over the clouds but we can hear the voice of plane why because of our ear so when we wake up in morning our alarm is buzzing how we know because of our ears right so ears help us to identify the different kind of voice then eyes eyes help us to identify colors identify people and many other things we can count the color of rainbow we can count the color of zebra crossing right then we can see we can see small things well help of magnifier right so this all things we can see with help of our eyes that which program is on tv this all things we can identify with help of our eyes so it means eyes also help us to feel the world around us right the next is nose that i give you the example that when our mother is making tea without going in kitchen how we know that mother is making tea because of smell of tea right when you enter in your house you know that which kind of food your mother is making how because of smell right so like that nose help us to feel the smell of different type of thing when you smell rose you can say that smell of rose is very beautiful when you smell onion you don't like this smell why because onion smell is very dirty right so nose help us to feel the smell when you smell the scent or spray you can understand that it is very nice smell but when you smell garlic you can understand that garlic smell we cannot use on our clothes right so nose help us to feel the smell so today we learn textbook exercise right so in previous lecture we learn two exercise hard words and fill in the blanks right so first we quickly revise this two exercise two questions and then we start our today's next topic right so before we start revision of previous lecture one thing we more learn in this lesson that about adults and growing up people we learn that our mother father and grandfather grandmother are adults when our small child like you and your brother your sister which are small are growing up people right so all these things we learn in this lesson so let's revise first what we learn in previous lecture so what we learn in previous lecture exercise hard words right so let's see we learn hard words first so our first hard word is body you can see here picture of one girl it means this is body body means different parts joined together and making one structure so here you can see eyes nose tongue hands legs all are body parts so you can understand that this all joined together and making one body 
then we learn about walk w a l k walk which body part help us to walk yes it is our leg right so we can walk with help of our leg then run when something is behind us we all are running when we are playing we are running so here third hard word is run r u n run then carry c a w r y here you can see one boy is carry books with hand skin skin is one of our sense organs which help us to feel the touch right so here you can see butterfly is sitting on hand so how we know that butterfly is sitting on hand because of touch of butterfly right so skin see we can see things here you can see one boy is having magnify glass right smell we can use rose smell onion smell garlic smell petrol smell right so this is smell then taste 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 is one of our sense and our tongue we use to taste different type of things like when we are making some food our mother first taste it then we all are eating right so taste touch grown up means elder people mother father grandfather and grandmother then our question number 2 fill in the blanks which we learn in previous lecture so what we learn in previous lecture fill in the blanks second question first our legs help us to walk right so we have two options legs and hand here you can see one boy is clapping in which using hands when girl is walking so what girl is using legs so the answer is our legs help us to walk right then our second fb our dash help us to write so we have two options legs and hands so in one option you can see that we are using our hand for writing and in second you can see one girl is walking so in which we are using our hand we are using our hand in writing so the answer is our hand help us to write right now let's see which is next one there are dash sense organs so first let's count the sense organs we have five sense organs right so let's see the picture eyes ears nose tongue and skin these all are our sense organs and which help us to feel the world around us right so we have five sense organs then number 4 dash help us to smell now you have two options nose and skin so when we smell rose what we are using we are using our nose right so when we are smell scent or spray what we are using we are using our nose so which body part help us to smell nose or skin it is our nose so nose help us to smell right the dash help us to taste right so we have two options tongue and nose so in first picture you can see that one monkey is making cake and first monkey is tasting so which body part monkey is using you can see here it is tongue and second you can see one girl is smell something right so what body part is for smelling it is our nose so here the question is the dash help us to taste 
सो विच बॉडी पार्ट हेल्प अस टू टेस्ट टंग और नोज येस इट इज अवर टंग सो वॉट इज द आंसर द टंग हेल्प अस टू टेस्ट सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी कम्प्लीट अवर टू क्वेश्चन हार्ड वर्ड्स एंड फील इन द ब्लैंक्स सो लेट स्टार्ट अवर टू डेज फर्स्ट टॉपिक राइट सो अवर टू डेज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ट्रू और फॉल्स सो इन दिस इफ सेंटेंस इज करेक्ट वॉट वी राइट वी राइट ट्रू एंड इफ सेंटेंस इज नॉट करेक्ट If sentence is wrong, then what we write? We write false, right? So let's start our first true or false. Number one, we do different things using different parts of our body. So when we learn about body in this lesson, what we learn that we have different body parts, right? so we have hands we have legs we have eyes nose ears all these things so we are using different body part for doing different kind of things like we are using our hand to write our leg to walk so first let's see here picture first picture you can see five sense organs right so which are the eyes nose ears टंग स्किन राइट सो वी ऑल आर यूजिंग आईज फॉर सी थिंग्स इयर्स फॉर हियर थिंग्स टंग फॉर टेस्ट एंड स्पीक स्किन फॉर फील टच राइट एंड नोज फॉर स्मेल एंड इन सेकेंड पिक्चर यू कैन सी वन बॉय इज क्लैपिंग सो वी आर यूजिंग अवर हैंड इन क्लैपिंग वेन वी वॉन्ट टू वॉक which body part we are using we are using our leg right so like that you all understand that different body part we are using in different way so all body part is important right so we are using every body part in different way so here you can see we do different things using different parts of our body so it is true or false do we use one body part for doing all things like we are using tongue to eat right so we can eat with our nose we can speak with our nose no we are smelling with help of our nose right so like that you understand that we do different things using different part of our body it is true because we have many body parts and we are using in different way so what is the answer the answer is true true means it is right sentence right so let's see our second sentence we can feel the world only with eyes now first in this lesson we learn about our sense organs we also learn that sense organs help us to feel world around us right so we have five sense organs so when you want to feel the world around you what you are using if you want to smell something what you are using your nose if train is coming what we are using voice of train we can hear with help of ears we can feel the touch with skin right so here you can see first sense organs so we have eyes we have ears then we have nose and skin so these are four sense organs nose ears skin and eyes right so we have one more sense organ it is our tongue it means we can feel the world around us with five sense organs 
if we have only eyes we cannot hear things so we need ears to hear things right so it means we can feel the world only with our eyes is wrong statement why because we can feel the world around us with help of our sense organs and sense organs are eyes nose ears tongue and skin so we need all sense organs to feel world around us not only eyes so what we write here we write here false we can feel the world only with our eyes is wrong statement and the right statement is we can feel the world with help of our five sense organs so now you can understand that which statement is right and which is wrong number 3 the ear help us to feel and touch now when we learn about sense organs we learn about sense also that we have five sense right which are the sense of smell sense of hearing sense of sight it means you can see things sense of taste and sense of touch so when we learn about ears we learn that we can hear things with help of our ear so we can hear alarm clock we can hear mic drum voice of different person voice of train voice of plane right so it means we can feel the voice around us with help of our ears so we have sentence that the ear help us to feel and touch so it is right or wrong we can feel and touch with which sense organ it is our skin so the ear help us to hear things not help us to feel and touch it means this sentence is wrong right so what we write here we write here false in the right sentence is the ear help us to hear things and for feel and touch we are using our skin number 4 the eyes help us to see so when we learn about sense organs we learn that we have five sense organs from this eyes are one of our sense organ so eyes help us to see things to identify colors to identify persons right so like that you understand that this sentence is right that the eyes help us to see so what we write here we write here true right let's see next one number 5 adults grow up to become children now when we learn about adults we learn that adults are already grown up people children grow up and become adults right so here you can see the picture of one girl you can see small child become adults so it means this sentence is wrong why because children grow up and become adults right so here what we write adults grow up to become children is wrong statement and what is right statement that children grow up to become adults right we learn that our mother father and grandparents are adults why because they are already grown up right and we all are growing up people so like that you understand that what are adults and what are children our next question is choose the correct option so we have four options and we have to write one correct option from this so let's see number 
which of these do we use in our legs so when we learn about legs we learn that our legs help us to walk run play and many other things like cycling swimming drive vehicles right so we have four options walk so we can walk with help of our leg right run we can run with help of our leg play we play cricket football and many other games with help of our leg so it means all three are right but we have to write only one answer and number 4 option is all of this right so it means all options are right so what is answer here walk run play all of this so we circle the all of this why because we use our legs to walk run and play right so let's see our second question which of these help us to eat and carry things so here you can see different body parts in options legs hands ears and four is all of this so first legs help us to walk run and play right then ear help us to hear things right we can hear voice of train voice of plane voice of teacher with help of our ear then hands so when we learn about hands we learn different part of our hands we also learn that how our hand help us in different way right so when we learn about hands we learn that we are using our hand to eat remember we see the pictures in which one boy is eating apple one boy is eating noodles with help of spoon and spoon is holding in our hand one mother is giving food to one small baby with help of hand so it means our hand help us to eat right and when we learn about hand we also learn that help of hand we carry things from one place to other place right we can hold book we can move our chair with help of our hand it means the answer is hand right so which of these help us to eat and carry things the answer is hands so we circle the hand right now let's see which is next one which of these sense organ is not right number 3 which of these is not sense organ so we have to write here from this which is not sense organs so when we learn about sense organs we learn that sense organs are part of the body which help us to feel the world around us so we have five sense organs which are the eyes ears tongue skin and nose so we have options here eyes and ears so it is sense organ then tongue and skin these are also sense organ hands and leg so when we learn about hands and legs we learn that hands and legs are our body part but those are not sense organs so it means our answer is hands and legs so we circle hands and legs so we have five sense organs you can see here this five sense organs and from these hands and legs are no so we can hear the voice of train but we can not feel that engine of train is very hot with help of our ears so which body part help us to feel 
hot and cold it is our skin so the answer is skin we feel hot or cold with the help of our skin nose help us to smell things right now let's see question number 5 what do we call grown up people 5 what we call grown up people so when we learn about adults children sense organs we learn that sense organs are the part of body which help us to feel the world around us so it means we are not calling grown up people sense organs then when we learn about children we learn that children are growing up people it means they are growing and when we learn about adults we learn that adults are grown up people it means they are already growing they are already grown now they are not growing right so what is the answer what do we call grown up people adults right so we learn about all these things adults children sense organs right so the answer is adults right so what we learn today today we revise lesson number 7 and we complete two question of exercise textbook exercise true or false and choose the correct answer right so i hope you all understand what we learn today and enjoy it so take care of yourself and stay healthy